the OnePlus 5T is the mid-season substitute to the company's flagship, and, as of late, only, smartphone. The T doesn't bring radical changes, on the contrary, it's a minor update to help the 5 stay in fashion and, as a side effect, why not spark up buzz right in time for holiday shopping? The most significant and readily visible alteration is the screen. It's now a trendy, tall, 18 to 96 incher. It's not state of the art in terms of resolution, but OnePlus has always insisted anything beyond full HD is overkill. Well, this one is, but just on the long end. 2160 by 1080 is all the pixels you're getting. No, in fact, you're getting more pixels, some 52 million of them, spread over three cameras. The one on the front remains unchanged at 16 MP, f 2.0, and so does the primary unit on the back, another 16 MP, this one with a wider aperture f 1.7 lens. But the secondary cam on the back is new, sort of, 20 MP like on the previous model but now with a different, f 1.7 aperture lens. They made a telephoto lens that bright? You ask, no, they didn't. The secondary cam has the same 27mm equivalent focal length as the primary one, the aim is to improve low light photography, but portraits with blurred backgrounds are a go, too, fret not. The rest of the OnePlus 5T is very much the same as the OnePlus 5 which isn't really a bad thing. For the most part, these in-between OnePlus models, we can't make up dad joke grade number puns when there are letters in the name. Cheers, OnePlus, for sparing us the embarrassment with the 5T. We had a few criticisms for the OnePlus 5, and these still stand true for the 5T as well. There's still no dust and water resistance when pretty much every flagship on the market now carries an IP67 or IP68 trading.